eyes, take a look at me. Get the picture fixed in your memory. I'm driven by the rhythm like the beat of a heart. And I won't stop until I start to stand out. Mm -hmm. Stand out. Some people settle for the typical thing. Living all their lives waiting in the wings. It ain't a question of if. Just a matter of time definitely going to be uh, consistency. I think last year our consistency was not great really on any event. Um, we only had a couple of meets throughout the year that we hit all four events. Um, and so this year if we can hit four events on a consistent basis then all of the rest of our goals um, like winning nationals or making it to regionals those types of things will take care of themselves. You guys didn't win nationals last year and you guys are pretty used to winning. What did you take from that that you're going to carry over into this season? I think we learned a lot that day. Um, ending uh, the season the way that we did, uh, starting off the first day so well, and then, um, again, like I said, our inconsistency got to us and our nerves got to us a little bit there at the end. Um, we learned a lot about what it means to work as a team. I think our underclassmen learned a lot about why we work so hard. Um, and our conditioning and things like that at the beginning of the year. So I think that that um, will definitely carry over into this year. Yeah, losing those eight seniors was definitely um, was going to be a big change for us. They were all really strong leaders, um, both inside and outside the gym, academically and all that. Um, and they had just really perfected what they were doing um, on the floor. They were just outstanding leaders, but I think that the freshmen coming in have um, a ton of talent. They have the ability to compete, probably all of them on three or four events, um, and that's going to continue to push our upperclassmen, um, and you know, we're just really excited about the talent they have and the, the excitement and the enthusiasm that they have coming in this year. So would you say that the freshman class coming in this year is going to replace the depth that you lost from the outgoing class? I think that they'll definitely... Um, be able to replace, if not in some ways, exceed the depth. Gymnastics. The year was over last year in the summer and start of this year. The the seniors this year really stepped up and, and filled that role. So, you know, we said all last year that, that BEAM was one of our strongest events. Um, we did have a lot of depth on that event um, and a lot, a lot of talent. Um, I think that will be a key for us again this year. Um, we've got several returning uh, from last year's beam lineup, we lost a couple of really solid seniors that we're definitely going to miss. But again, with the freshmen coming in and the work that the upperclassmen did over the summer, 
um, I think we'll be set up well. We just need to make sure that we are um, confident when we're competing and, and really hit beam because uh, it can definitely help us. Um, what was your favorite meet from last year or best memory from the competition season? Uh, definitely when the team competed at the University of Utah. A few uh, Utah fans, actually, that were um, pretty intense fans that go to a lot of the meets, things like that, really didn't know much about TWU and, um, you know, sent us an email right after the meet just going on about how impressed they were with our team and the way they carried themselves. And um, I think they just really had their eyes open to what Texas Women's University is all about. Um, and I think the other teams that were competing as, as well, um, you know, BYU, we were actually ahead of them going into the last event. Um, so that was really exciting and um, just turning some heads. So good. Thank you. Thank you. I love to keep me from getting to you, babe. Get